What's up, guys? So Ad Astra is the new film uh, starring Brad Pitt. It's the new space film. He's searching for his father, believed to be out in space, uh, doing something that's going to affect the United States and the world and the Earth and the population. Uh, Oh, wow. Fell asleep there. Sorry about that. Uh, that's exactly what I was doing throughout this whole movie. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this movie is the most boring film I've seen in a very long time. Well, actually, no, that's not true. The Goldfinch was also very boring. Uh, what would I say is more boring? Ad Astra or The Goldfinch? Goldfinch? I don't know. They're both kind of equal to me. Uh, and they are the most boring films I've seen in a very long time. Like, this movie was a task to watch. Uh, Brad Pitt is giving a good performance, but the thing that this movie lacks is life. The movie is lifeless. The movie... <laughs> this movie is, is, is as dull as a box of rocks, and it moves at such a slow, boring pace. And it was hard for me as a viewer to get invested into the story and into the character because it was so boring and lifeless. Liv Tyler, she's wasted in the film. Ruth Nega, wasted in the film. Donald Sutherland, wasted in the film. He probably has the most to do out of those three, but he's wasted in the film. Also, Tommy Lee Jones, wasted in the film. He's in this for a paycheck. Uh, was what it seemed like. Uh, Brad Pitt is actually giving a great performance here, but it's not enough to save this dull, dull direction. Such boring, uninspired direction uh, this film had. And it was just lifeless. The movie was lifeless. If I was to describe this movie in one word, it's lifeless. There, there was no life or energy in this movie. Uh, if you watched my first reaction to it, I said, sit on your porch and watch the cars drive by for two hours. That'll probably be more entertaining than Ad Astra. Uh, I'm going to give it one and a half out of five stars simply due to good visual effects. The first ten minutes were intriguing, but after that the movie sort of just derails into lifeless, boring nonsense. Uh, and Brad Pitt's performance. That's really it. Uh, other than that, this movie has nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, so, that's my thoughts on Ad Astra. Guys, comment your thoughts in the comments. What did you think about the movie? Uh, did you see it? What are your thoughts on it? Uh, also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. A whole bunch of reviews coming in the future for Abominable, Joker, all that's coming. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. And you can also follow me on Instagram at KingArises131. Guys, that's been it. Thank you very much for watching my review for Ad Astra. Over and out. The world awaits our discovery, my son.